Zachary Levi says actors are telling him they are terrified to publicly say they'd vote for Trump because there are ramifications for the shit. 100%. And I believe this is the video that he posted on uh, Instagram uh, earlier this week. And it, he basically goes on and says um, how, um, you know, Hollywood is a liberal, is a liberal town, is a liberal city and stuff like that. And he has a thousand people in his DMs telling him that like they're conservatives or they want to vote for Trump and stuff like that, but they can't come out and say it. It's because they will get, you know, completely wiped off from the face of the earth, meaning being canceled. Like case in point, look, look what they did with Gina Carano, right? Now that we have um, uh, Zach Levi coming out saying it, you know, and the thing is that he's following his he is, he's following his principles and his principles and his moral compass is RFK Jr. So he's following RFK Jr. And RFK Jr. is now part of the Trump administration. Therefore, he's following the Trump administration. And he says that if things are going to continue moving forward and Kamala Harris wins, there isn't going to be a Hollywood anymore in terms of a place for people to have ideas. And the thing is that like the leftist and the people who are on you know, in Hollywood, like a lot of them, like I, 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 you know, for me, I, I would say I'm Hollywood adjacent. Like since I work in the games industry and I used to work in the animation industry, like there's a lot of interweaving, right? There's a lot of things that sort of overlap. And the thing is, we know that, um, there's a lot of people in the industry that will never ever say something is because look, I have a family, I have kids, I have people I need to take care of, I have bills and stuff like that. And if I get canceled, I, I you know, I won't be able to work again. And the thing is, Zachary Levi is you know, like he knows, like he's a big star. Like I, I love them ever since Chuck. I think Chuck is one of the best TV shows I've watched as a kid. Uh, you know, not well, I didn't watch it as a kid. I watched it like in when I was in college. But um, it was one of the one of the really really good shows I watched. I, I loved it. It was the first things I've ever seen Zachary Levi in. And then they brought in um, what's it called again? Uh, Agent Casey, which is uh, Adam Baldwin. I love Adam Baldwin, and it's just it's so good. Like that is a show about geeks and nerds done right, and it sort of becomes a a spy show, which is so good. It's so damn good, right? And then I found that that. And Zachary Levi was going to be Flynn Rider. I'm like, that's freaking awesome. And hearing that he can sing, I'm like, fuck yes. That's amazing. I love Flynn Rider. And then he plays Shazam. And I, I Shazam 1 was great. I love Shazam 1. It was really good. And now that he's coming out, like he's putting his, his money where his mouth is. And he's putting his career on the line, knowing that people will blacklist him. People will cancel him for this. And he's, you know, he's going off of his principles. And that's what's most important. And I think he's leading by example. He's 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 setting an example. He's like, look, I'm going to come out and say stuff. I'm going to say this. And if I get canceled, I get canceled and stuff like that. But the thing is, that I, I think there's a lot of people in Hollywood, like he said, they are afraid of the Hollywood woke mind virus. It's because of them getting canceled. Oh, you, you can't say that you, you you're voting for Trump. You can't say that. You can't say you're a Republican. And then you got stupid ass Freppy Goldberg coming out saying, <laughs> like in translation, she said, you know, um, you know, Hollywood has always been a conservative town. Not fucking now. How old is Whoopi Goldberg? Like fucking 80? Dude, when Whoopi Goldberg was alive, when she was young, she was sitting in the back of the fucking bus. Okay, that's how old she is. Right. And then you have her now. Yeah, back in the day, it was conservative, you know, like, but now it's completely changed. It's like Hollywood is, it's extremely left. And it, you, you, yeah, she's fucking ancient. She's, she's a, she's a fucking relic. Right. She's the fact that, you have her saying that, like, you can tell how out of touch she is. Everyone in the view, right, used to love Donald Trump and stuff like that, and now they don't. It's like, what what happened? What happened? So, oh, um, you know, like, I was watching the Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan thing uh, uh, yesterday with Donald Trump, and, like, like, there's a lot of people who's like, look, if I came out and said stuff about you, you know, like, I'm going to get canceled and stuff like that. And Trump said, yeah, go ahead and make fun of me. It's fine. Like, I understand. Just make fun of me. Go ahead. Right? And it's the same thing for people in Hollywood. Man, it's just, 
just pe people need to step up. People just need to come out and say stuff. Like Gina Carano, great example. Now Zachary Levi, John Voigt, Dennis Quaid, uh, Rob Schneider, uh, Mel Gibson, like all of them, right? Big, big people. These guys have big names, right? And now all of a sudden, oh, you, oh, you mean that uh, the guy that was, you know, in Shazam 2, that movie didn't even make that much money. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, man. And the thing is that, like, I, you can hate someone, but uh, if they're sticking to their principles and they don't flip flop, like whether you disagree with them or not, like it's something that, like, it's okay, cool. As long as you're sticking to your guns, you you are still being who you are. And I'm glad that Zachary Levi is like not not taking anything from them, right? But yeah, uh, see right over here. It's like Zachary Levi recently took to Instagram to refute. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg's claim that Hollywood will always been very right-leaning town. Goldberg tried to teach the Shazam, the Shazam actor a lesson during an episode of The View earlier this month after he publicly endorses Donald Trump for president. Levi said that he was risking a career suicide by supporting Trump because Hollywood is very, very liberal town. Goldberg uh, rejected this claim as more BS and told Levi, we're a mixed bunch, Hollywood, and sometimes it seems like there's more Democrats, and sometimes it seems like there's more Republicans, but the truth is the matter that very people seem to bite it because they're Republican. She went on to cite the ongoing careers of working Republicans, actors like John Voight and Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid and John Voight, they are extremely established. They've been in Hollywood for a very, very, very long time, especially John Voight, right? Uh, Zachary Levi has been in uh, been in Hollywood prop from according to how, how, I, how long that I've known him, maybe 20 years. Right, he's he's been in in it for about twenty years, so he's still considered young. John Voight, John John Voight's fucking old, dude. Angelina Jolie's dad is old, right? To Whoopi Goldberg and the fell uh, and all of the folks to the view, I don't think it's accurate to say that somehow Hollywood is both liberal and conservative town. Uh, to Whoopi's point, back in the day, might have been more of a balance, but you really have to be in a certain level of career, you know, to really get away with being an outspoken Republican. Exactly. Mel Gibson, John Voight. Uh, uh freaking like anyone who's out, out there basically saying that they're gonna vote for Donald Trump, like they have they they their career like Hollywood actors, they've been in our, our Hollywood for a very, very long time. Jane, yeah, James Wood's one of them. James Wood's very, very base. I love James Wood. All right, Levi noted that Goldberg could only cite two examples: John Boyd, Dennis Quaid, adding of the thousands of actors in Hollywood. We can only name two actually speaks to that. There are plenty, by the way. That sent me lots of messages. Plenty of people in my industry in Hollywood who are terrified to publicly say that they will vote for Donald Trump or to be conservative in any way. That's why you don't see them. That's why they're very, uh, not very prevalent or prominent. They know uh, there's ramifications for this kind of shit. But y'all, uh, our industry is going to, to be fucking gonzo. It already is. He continued. Uh, we're getting eroded. The pandemic and the strikes, and we've already eroded. Uh, it's so much. My cry to you all out there is closeted Trump voters. It's now or never. Do whatever you feel like you need to do. If you need to come out publicly, say it. If you feel like you can't, then don't. I would never pressure you to do that. But now, if it's what you're afraid of, is somehow the backlash of the industry, that's not going to exist very soon. Then let that, don't let the hell do back. Exactly. And same thing with the animation industry. Same thing with the, um, the music industry. Same thing with the games industry. I have a lot of friends who are working in the animation industry and a lot of friends who are working in the game industry that would never say that they publicly and say that they're going to vote for Donald Trump is because they will get blacklisted. Uh, getting blacklisted in the game industry is pretty damn, it's basically a death sentence to your career as a game, as a game designer, as an artist, or as an animator or whatever, because those industries is a lot smaller than Hollywood. Um, Hollywood is pretty big. Game uh, animation in industry is pretty small. It's pretty niche. And games industry is even smaller than that. Once you have one bad rap, you're blacklisted everywhere. Everyone will know your name. It's like, oh, don't hire that person. That person's hard to work with. Don't hire that person because they voted for Trump. Don't hire that person because um, they said th things that made me uncomfortable. So the thing is, people have to say it now, right? Because if moving forward, uh, I, I feel like Trump is going to save America. He's going to roll back a lot of things that are extremely woke, make things a little more normal. Um, but things that Trump is, is pretty much he he's in the middle, but the thing is that like, he, he, he's like, he's okay with LGBTQ stuff, right? It just no, you know, men's playing in women's sports or men, you know, going in women's bathroom, just like 
normal, you know, shit that people actually are okay with, right? But the thing is that they all all of a sudden come out and just saying that he's a terrible person. Me working in the gaming industry, like for me, if you like, there are signs. There are a lot of signs like on Facebook where who I'm friends with a lot of people, on Instagram who I'm friends with a lot of people. There are signs that I'm a I'm a Trump like like I'm a Trump voter, and like I've lost a lot of friends. Like I remember, uh, like I I think I had like almost a thousand followers on Instagram. And then I, I um, I privated my account ever since um, I I started posting stuff with my son and stuff like that. And then like I posted the image of Trump with the with you know with the fight 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 with the flag in the background. And what happened was like I went from like a thousand to seven hundred, and then a couple months later I went from seven hundred to like five hundred. So I lost like half of my half of my following. And here's the thing: I don't fucking care if you if you guys, you know, I've I've been friends with you guys for a while i've known you guys for a while now and um you know i know you guys for like seven years eight years ten years plus and if if, if what i'm saying right now about trump is the only single thing that you disagree with and you feel like that's enough for you not to be my friend then you were never my friend to begin with and that's it right like i said i've invited people to my my wedding i've invited people to like like my engagement party with my wife. Like I've, I've invited people to birthday parties and big outings. And like, all of a sudden I said that I'm voting for Trump. It's like, Oh, I don't fucking know you anymore. It's like, okay. Then you were never my friends to be going with. It's just, that's how it is. And like I said, if you can't change the people around you physically change the people around you, who gives a fuck? I don't care about those people anymore. And the thing is, I feel like it will, like if if Kamala does become president, it it's gonna be we're gonna be in for a wild ride. I think there's gonna a lot of war is gonna happen. A lot of shit's gonna be going down. Um, I just saw a video today of her in I think uh, Mississippi or something like that. I forgot she was doing like a rally or or some shit, and she was being heckled by a person in the crowd, and then she couldn't talk. She had to close her book. She couldn't talk, and she just smiled. I'm like. She's gonna that's gonna happen to her when Putin talks to her, when uh when freaking Zelensky talks to her, or any of these like pr these world like freaking these world leaders, they're gonna like bully the shit out of her. Right? They're, they're gonna bully the shit out of her. She's not gonna be able to take anything. So that that I think that's the reason why we just we, 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 we Trump is the guy, whether or not you like what he says. I think Trump can't handle that. Are we ready? Are we ready for a female president? Yes. We're just, we just don't want Kamala Harris. She's just fucking awful. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks. And we'll see you guys next time.